hello and welcome guys another episode on LGBT stack so guys in today's example we will learn how we can conditionally render an element in lightning web component okay so guys for that uh, we'll create another component in this so let's create a component so to create a component you can simply press Control shift P or command shift P and you just have to go to create lightning map component. Let's name it mm, conditionally render elements. Okay. So let's save it and I guess this will be my default directory. All right, so guys, first thing what we will do is we will change the metadata file to display everything on the Lightning app, Lightning record page, and the Lightning home page. Okay, so let me just change this to this. So the metadata has been changed. Now, this is the default template we get uh, while create a new Lightning web component. Okay, so I'm just copying a template from my old component so let me just copy this one here okay so guys now we are having a template here and so let's update things let, let me just remove this input we don't need it and let me change the title conditional rendering elements okay so guys to conditional render an element we will be using a checkbox here and with the help of checkbox when it is changed when, when it is checked so we will display something and when it is unchecked so we will just hide that part of the text here okay so let's build the checkbox and we'll build it here all right so let's create a lightning input here okay so lightning input okay guys this is same like html like an input we are we were having uh, input type text so here we are having input lightning input type checkbox okay let's create a label click me and let's create an on change event. Let's name it handle change. Okay, and this is the event. So this needs to be bind here directly. Okay. So let's bind it. So now we are done here. So let's just close the stack. Okay, so we have created a checkbox which will show or hide a particular text. Okay, now what we need here is the text which needs to be show and hide. Okay, so guys, we will create a simply, uh, simply template here. Okay, and uh, in this template, we will have a condition if true. Okay, and let's make this uh, show me. So guys, uh, if show me is true, then it should display text here. I'm visible. Okay. So guys, this is basically simple if and else condition. So for else we are having false. So if show me is false. So we will just display and not visible. Okay. So the HTML part is ready, guys. Now we will create this on change basically on the back end. All right. So this is the back end part. And let me have some value in the my value first, otherwise it will throw an error there. Okay. So guys, uh, now we will create the handle change function here. Okay, so let's paste the name and let's have event here. 
the start uh, the start show me equals to event dot target event dot target means it will be getting the value from the targeted event which will be checkbox in this uh, situation okay so event dot target is checked all right so guys the component is ready now we will deploy it uh, to the source org okay so let me just right click on it and hit the deploy source to org all right it is deployed to org so now let's go to the org this is my org let's hit the edit page okay what was the name of the component sorry i forgot it so conditionally render element of course so this is the component guys let me just drag it here and let's save it okay so this is the third example of this lwc stack series how you can conditionally render elements so guys as you can see it is it says i'm not visible let me just click on this checkbox okay the text is not uh, getting changed here i think we messed up in the javascript part all right so guys uh, we have not declared the value of show me uh, so that's why the value was not coming there so let me just have the default value false here and inside uh, inside the handle on change it will assign the value of the checkbox by default here okay so let me save it and deploy it to the org again all right it is deployed let me refresh the page and it is working now so as you can see while i will click on it it says i'm visible and while uh, i uncheck it so it says i'm not visible so guys that's how you can just simply render thing in your lightning web component you can create multiple if else condition and uh, you can also have nested if else condition here to display the text here okay and also guys i will be having the complete code as always on my blog also so you can just directly go on to my blog check out the lwc stack series here and you can just simply copy and paste and understand the complete raw code there okay so i will see you in the next one guys thanks for watching